I'll, I'll respawn up in a... What is it? Solichny? Yeah, an upper sort of central east corner of the map. <clears throat> okay. I guess your humanity goes up when you heal people as well. So, again, like, I'm, I'm still learning a lot of this stuff about Daisy, even though I've been playing it pretty frequently for the past couple weeks. And uh, it's, it's the kind of game where you don't want to look at a wiki, you know what I mean? You don't want to, like, learn how to, I don't know, learn what are areas of the map or hold certain things and things like that. Like, you really just want to figure out on your own. That's part of the fun. Hearing rumors from other players that might just totally be um, a lie, you know what I mean? And confirming that for yourself is, is super cool. So I think I'm pretty close to... I might be on the outskirts of Electra here on the east side. This, this is definitely a major city that I'm looking at to my west. I know that it's west because uh, the sea is almost always to the south in Arma. So I'm out on the outskirts of like the second largest city, I think, here. And before I head inside, I'm going to check inside this area and also that uh, this barn area to my left. It would be amazing if I could find a, a good weapon here. So that last encounter, I probably should have just known that, you know, guy has a rifle. I couldn't really identify what rifle it was at range. I probably should have figured out that was an M4. He was hiding from me in bushes. I probably sh probably should have just stayed away. Um, but, you know, when you first spawn in, you want to make friends quickly. That's going to help you stay alive longer. I usually kind of take that risk and be super obvious. Um, I gave him this loot and he decided to blast me. That's just kind of how it goes sometimes. I think, uh, you know, one of the things I'm discovering about Daisy 2 is it's sort of how I feel about roguelikes, right? I, I play a lot of Dungeons and Dreadmore, which is a uh, which is actually our favorite indie game last year. And uh, it, it's a roguelike, right? It's like a graphical roguelike, and you, you're supposed to play it with permadeath, where if you die, you're, you're dead forever. And um, I don't know, I'm, I'm really kind of falling in love with permadeath in that way. You know, it just makes you, it makes every decision feel critical. You know the value of taking other player's life. It has inherent consequences, like really big permanent consequences. That sounds like an obvious thing to say. But uh, what it just means is you know the other person feels something when you pull the trigger, and you know you feel something, right? It's going to stick with you. The game registers it, and, you know, in, in a really basic way, it's like my... <laughs> it's not just about my actions have consequences, but my, my actions have meaning, right? Um, it, they <laughs> they're going to shape somebody else's emotions and my emotions. That's pretty special. I guess part of the reason that feels so powerful in Daisy, it's, it's like the game never really feels like it's interfering, right? There's no like there is a humanity system, but beyond that, it's like they're just decisions I would make in these kind of situations, right? I mean, it's kind of like revealing human nature in some ways. I'm going to shop for a bit while I check this out. So sometimes there's some, some supplies up in this upper office. So I'm going to head up there and take the ender. Looks like a bunch of empty cans, alright. And I hear some pistol shots in the distance there, I'm gonna be quiet so you guys can hear it too. like somebody's being attacked in there. Oh man, he's in trouble. I'm going to try and help him. <clears throat> well, the shot's stopped. He's probably incapacitated in there. And his zombie's still attacking him. So I want to be cautious here. Oh god. There's like two or three of them. Oh, he's really banged up. Did I hear another zombie? 
Oh man, yeah. Looks like we got a couple friends here. Oh. Oh, please don't shoot me, dude. I'm gonna be a little selfish here. And just let these guys deal with it. Gotta banish myself. Oh man, we got more coming. Oh, maybe this guy was bringing a little train of his own. See if I can talk to these guys. You guys okay? Can you hear me? Oh man, where'd you come from? Oh, man, they're so hard to hit. I got my mouse sensitivity a little bit too low. Doesn't help that I'm dropping frames here a little bit. He's bleeding. Can I can I heal you? Can I Okay, you're okay. Hello. Hey, how's it going? That was crazy. Oh look out, there's another one. Thank you. My winnings are some food. Let's see if I can pick anything else up. Got some matches which you use to start a fire. Definitely take that. You can use fires to cook as well. Hey, who is this? Uh, this is a. Uh, Elotti, I'm gonna type in chat. No, I don't have any ammo if you're asking me. I promise I'm not a bandit. I'm a reformed bandit. Alright, so I think we're on the outskirts of a lecture here, right? Is that right, guys? Like Electro is uh, like where I'm pointed. It's I think this is west, right? Yeah, that should be west. Cannot fire. Can you hear me? Whoops. Whoops. Sorry. Can you hear me? Cool. This is Electro, right? We're like on the east side of Electro. Oh man, you don't have any ammo. Yeah, let me let me drop a clip for you over here. It's uh, right in that pack. There you go. Yeah, I, I could see like by his pistol to see how the uh, the slide is actually pulled back. Uh, that means he was empty. There he goes. Oh no, Kilroy's dead. No, Kilroy. Alright. So I'm gonna head this way. I don't know if you guys want to roll with me. I'm just kinda I'm just kinda looking for a gun or something else. Kilroy's dead, man. Kilroy's fucking dead. So I know if I head north uh let's see, northwest here, up on this hill, I can get a good look at the power station. Yeah, actually, there's a there's a power station if we head up this hill, and it's pretty dangerous and probably guarded, but there's definitely some stuff in there. We can head over there. Follow me. All right, so this is good. I got some pals. Probably want to give that guy another couple of ammo, but I'm not sure if I trust him yet. You know what I mean? And uh, 
I know where I am. That's kind of all you can ask for, <laughs> other than a decent weapon in Daisy. Okay, so this smokestack is where the power station is, so... Yeah, it's just over here. Let's uh, let's just kind of observe it for a little bit and see if we see any players inside. Go ahead. What? I think we should go into the uh, fire station. There's normally some nice stuff in there. Yeah, let's do it. Let's just kind of keep watch for a second, see if uh, anybody's inside. It's okay. I'm gonna going to go quick, just so I'm going to Sorry if you guys, you guys can't hear these guys, it's just really soft for me as well. Uh, if either of you have a hunting knife, does it go over there and get some uh, food from? No, I don't have one, I'm afraid yet. I've got matches though, I can start a fire. Yeah, you want to head down inside there and just kind of take a look around? Sounds good. Going on an adventure to the fire station, power station, it's a power station. There's all the electrical equipment and whatnot. The upside of moving to somebody is that you're a little bit more protected, obviously, but they could just as easily alert alert enemies and cause trouble. I'm going to let him lead on, just in case uh, somebody's in there camping. Do you see a zombie hopper over there? Oh. Hey, how's it going? Might be smoke grenades. Yeah, smoke grenades. I'll take one. That's a pretty good like getaway item. I know there's a couple more buildings over here that I can look in. At least I think so. Oh boy. Let's avoid that. Yeah, there's a zombie outside. Careful. Oh, he might be alerted. I hope I didn't do that. Oh good, he opened the door. Might have been somebody else that alerted him, actually. I hear some more gunfire out there. And actually, I think you can climb that ladder. There's at least one tower around here you can climb. Oh, in trouble. Here, help, help him. What's help going on? Him. I don't know, man. Ah! Oh. Help okay. Oh, Kilroy, we're coming, dude. <laughs> oh, that's Kilroy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God you're here. Thank God. Hey guys, how's it going? Really glad to see you. Where should we go? There's a barn up on the hill. I think that's uh, toward the sun, so it's west, right? I've got a couple clips. You guys need clips? I've got four. I'll drop two. 